So to get the protected area data, we are going to use this website called Protected Planet. So the first thing that you need to do is to Google Protected Planet or simply click on the link under the description below. Now we are going to click on the first result, Protected Planet, official website, and we will get this page. So this is the main page of Protected Planet website. So from here you can get a lot of information about protected areas around the globe. So for us, we are interested in getting this data inside of our GIS software. So to do this, we are going to download it. To do so, click on explore protected areas and you will be redirected to this page where you can search for your protected area using regions, countries or simply individual areas. So in our case, we are more interested in getting the protected areas of a whole country and it's more convenient to look for this information using a country name. So we are going to click on country. If you have the, the name of your protected area, you can go ahead directly and click on individual areas and get back to countries and you can scroll down and look for your country. So for the sake of this example, I am going to look for the protected areas of France. So I will click on it. I will get this page where you will get a bunch of information, like for example, the number of protected areas in these countries, the map of the country. If you scroll down, you can get even more information, like for example, the marine protected area coverage and other stuff. So for me, I am more interested in downloading this data and get it inside of my GIS software. So to do so, click simply on download and you will get four formats to choose from. You got the CSV format, SHP which stands for shapefile, file geo database and PDF. So for my case, I'm more interested in the GIS format. So I will go ahead and click on SHP. You will get this message that indicates if you are going to use this data for a commercial use, please read carefully this instructions. But if you are not going to use it commercially, you can click simply on continue. And here it generates our file. I will click on download. So here you can choose where you want to save your, your file and then click on save. At the end of the download, you will get this zip file right click on it and then click on extract here in order to unzip it after that you will get the resources that you can read for if you want further information this is the summary table of your data and other stuff so for me i am more interested in the file format multiple zip files for my protected area so I have the SHP 0, 1 and 2 they have done this because the size of the ship file is very large so they split it into three files so I will go, go ahead with the first one and then I will click on extract here I will do the same for the second one and for the third one extract here and then click on yes to all now that I have all my ship files, I will go ahead and open my GIS software. So you can use any GIS software such as ArcGIS Pro or QGIS. So for this tutorial, I will go ahead and use ArcGIS Pro. After opening ArcGIS Pro and creating your project, I will go ahead and go to, so head over to map and then I will click on add data and I will click on data. So navigate to your working folder and then click on this each, click on the first folder and here you will find your first file so for us we will go ahead and click only on polygons and then click on ok and they will do the same for the two remaining files and there we go we got our protected areas if you want any further information about any protected area you can for example zoom in and let's for example look for information about this area click on it and you will get this attribute by table with the name of the protected area and other information so thanks a lot for watching this tutorial if you got some useful information from it please like it and subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of tutorials